Hey everyone, I'm going to show you today how to make one of these Mario Bros inspired toadstool hats. So um, for this tutorial, you're going to need some white yarn for the base of the hat. And I'm using blue yarn for the spots. But if you wanted to do a classic um, to Mario toad style, you could use red for the spots instead. Or if you wanted to do um, a one-up mushroom, you could use you could use green for the base and white for... There's a lot of different combinations you could do, and you can use any color that you want, really. But I'm just going to be using white and blue for this tutorial. You're also going to need a pair of scissors to cut off your yarn. A needle to sew in your ends. And a crochet hook. I'm using a size E. I also used a CP pin to mark the first stitch of my row. And I used some pins to mark the spaces where I was going to sew on my spots, as well as a random scrap of yarn. So let's get started and learn how to make one of these hats. So the first thing I'm going to do is a magic circle. I have my white yarn here. I'm going to loop it around my fingers twice. I'm going to take those two loops here and pull up a loop through the middle of those two loops with my hook. And then I'm going to chain two. Now that I've chained two, this is going to count as my first stitch. So now I'm going to chain five more times onto the magic loop so that it looks, um, so that it has six stitches in total. Okay. So now I have my six stitches on my magic ring. So I'm going to close the ring. First, I'm going to pull slightly on the tail. And now the smaller of the two loops, I'm going to take from the side closest to the tail. And I'm going to pull it until that other loop closes. Now that that loop is closed, I'm going to take the tail and pull that until the other loop closes. So in order to make this project, I'm just going to increase every single row that I make. The first row, I'm going to increase every single stitch. So first, I'm going to insert my hook into that first space, pull up a loop, and single crochet once. Then I'm going to insert it in again to the same space, and single crochet one more time. So I'm going to do that all the way around until I get back to the beginning at this stitch here. Now that I'm done with this increase, though, I'm just going to mark my first stitch that I made. And I'm going to do that using a safety pin. You could use a, um, a different colored strand of yarn if you want to, but I'm just going to use a safety pin. And then I'm going to continue to increase in every stitch. Okay, so I've made it all the way around to where my stitch marker is, so now I'm just going to remove it. And then I'm going to, for the next row, I'm going to increase every other stitch. So I'm going to do my first stitch of the row without increasing. And right here I'm going to replace my stitch marker. And then in the very next stitch, I'm going to increase. So I'm going to pull up a loop and single crochet, and then in the same space, pull up a loop again and single crochet again. And I'm going to continue doing that all the way around. So I'm going to single crochet once in this space, and then twice in the next. Okay. So I've gotten back to my stitch marker again, so now I'm going to remove it. And on the next row, I'm going to increase every third stitch. So my first stitch is going to have just one, 
Now I'm going to replace my stitch marker. And then in the second stitch, just one. Then in the third stitch, I'm going to increase. So one, and then pull up a second loop and single crochet. And I'm going to continue to do this all the way around. So here's one, two, and on the third stitch, pull up a loop and single crochet, and then into the same stitch, single crochet. And I'm going to continue doing this until I get back to my stitch marker. So now I've gotten back to the beginning of the row. So before my next stitch, I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And in the next row, I'm going to increase every fourth stitch. So one stitch in the next one, and then I'm going to replace my stitch marker. One stitch in the next, one in the next one, which is the third, and then in the fourth, I'm going to increase. So once again, pull up a loop and add a second single crochet to the same stitch. And I'm going to continue that all the way around. So I'm going to single crochet once, single crochet once in the second, single crochet once in the third, and in the fourth, single crochet once and Oops, and twice. I'm going to continue this until I get back to my stitch marker. Okay, so I've gotten all the way around again. I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And in the next row, I'm going to increase every fifth stitch. So here's one. And now I replace my stitch marker. Now one in the second, one in the third, one in the fourth, and now in the fifth, I'm going to increase. So there's one, and there's two. And I'm going to continue to do this all the way around. So I've gotten all the way around again, and in this row, I'm going to increase every sixth stitch. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And I'm going to do my first stitch of the row, and in this row, I'm going to increase on the sixth. So there's one. Now I'm going to replace my stitch marker. Here's two, three, four, five, and six, I'm going to increase. And now I'm going to continue to do this until I get back to my stitch marker. So I've gone all the way around again on the row where I was decreasing, um, where I was increasing by sixes. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker, and as you can probably tell, that, um, that there is now a pattern emerging in the increasing of my rows. So in the last row, I increased every sixth stitch. For this next row, I'm going to increase every seventh stitch, and the next after that, I'm going to increase every eighth, the next after that, every ninth, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to continue to increase until the hat reaches the width that I want it to be. So I'm going to do my first single crochet and replace my stitch marker. And then I'm going to continue and I'm going to increase on the seventh stitch. So here's the second, third, fourth, And sixth. And now on the seventh stitch, I'm going to increase. So there's one and two into the same stitch. 
So I'm going to continue to increase by 7 all the way around, and then I'm going to um, continue to increase every row after that until this thing is the width that I want it to be. So I've just finished with the um, 22nd row of increase that I've done, and as you can see, the hat is now a lot bigger and is pretty much the size of width that I want it to be. And as you can see, it's about 10 and a quarter inches in diameter. So I'm just going to add my last increase here. And now I'm going to do another five rows of non-increase. So first I'm going to remove my stitch marker and then do my first stitch. And I'll do one more. Then I'm going to replace my stitch marker so that I remember where the end of my row is. And now I'm going to do five more rows without increasing. So I've gotten to the end of my five rows of non-increase, and now the work is shaped like a large bowl. So now that I've finished with that, I'm going to begin to decrease. So first I'm going to remove my stitch marker, and in this first row of decreasing, I'm going to only crochet in the back loops. So into that back loop, I'm going to insert my hook and pull up a loop and single crochet. And now in this row, I'm going to decrease every 22 stitches. So I'm going to go on single crocheting in that back loop until I have 22 stitches. Oh, and also I'm going to mark that first stitch with my stitch marker. So if the work that you have made is less than, uh, is increased to less than 22 rows, that's how many um, you should decrease by. Since I increased mine 22, I'm now going to decrease it 22. So I'm on my third stitch in the back loops. So I'm going to continue in the back loops until I have 22, or until I have 21, and then I'm going to decrease on the 22nd stitch. And as you can see, since I am crocheting in the back loops, that um, row of loops in front is still going to be open, so I can crochet on it later. Now I'm on the 21st stitch of single crochet. So in order to decrease, I'm going to pull up a loop in that back loop, and then in the next stitch, I'm going to pull up another loop, and then I'm going to crochet all together. And now I'm going to do another set of 21 stitches that are um, just single crochets in the back loops. So I finished 21 again, and now I'm going to decrease one more time. So I'm going to pull up a loop, and then pull up a loop in the next, and then crochet together. And I'm going to continue doing that all the way around this row and decreasing every 22nd stitch. So I finished with the last 21 stitches of the row, and now I'm going to do my last decrease. So I'm just going to pull up a loop and pull up a loop in the next and crochet together. Then I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And for the next row, I'm going to decrease every 21 stitches. And also I'm going to make sure to crochet in both loops this time instead of just the back. So I'm going to pull up a loop and single crochet for 20 more stitches. And then I'm going to decrease. And I'm not going to forget to put in my stitch marker.
All right, so I've done 20 stitches and now I'm going to decrease. So I'm going to pull up a loop, pull up another one in the next, and then crochet together. And now I'm going to do another 20 stitches and decrease again on the 21st.